Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. Today I am going to be opening the next Wizarding Trunk box. Uh, this is the Owlery box. Um, basically this is just a set of lessons they're sending out. So every two months, this is a bi-monthly subscription box, the Wizarding Trunk will send you this and it is themed uh, two different magical subjects, basically magical classes and stuff like that. Um, there's gonna be seven of these and I am designing a set of book covers that are going in each one of these, one book cover per box, and they are designed to fit the American hardback editions, the, f the first American hardback editions, the original ones. So um, yeah, you can grab those at on like eBay probably for pretty cheap. That's where I got mine. I'm also doing uh, a few random things here and there. They're asking me to help design some stuff. So I've got something coming in their Halloween box. So if you like my designs, if you like the work that I do, check out the Wizarding Trunk because we've been doing a lot of collaborations. One last thing I will say is that if you did miss these first two covers and you're just now uh, learning about this, they are going to be uh, selling a limited supply of these um, somehow. They're, they're going to try and get these first two covers out to you. But in order to get the rest, you do have to subscribe to the Wizarding Trunk. And I have a link in the description box below you can use just to, to check them out and, and to subscribe to their box. And again, this is a bi-monthly box, so it's every two months. So I have not been spoiled on anything in this box. Um, uh, the only thing I know about is my book cover. So let's go ahead and get this thing open. I did cut the tape before I started this, but I did not open the box, just so you guys know. So what we have first is a, a greetings letter from the ministry. So we will check that out. This is definitely the, sh the cheat sheet. This is how they had it last time. If you flip it over, you're gonna see what's in the box. So I'm gonna set that one aside. And it looks like we have a letter of some kind in a purple envelope, and it has the Owl Post Service uh, wax seal here, and it is actually a wax seal. It's not plastic or a sticker. We're just going to open this up and see what it is. Um, the purple makes me think it's something from the Ministry of Magic, but we will see. Let's take a look here. Oh, okay, cool. This is a license for wizarding travel, and it's on like kind of like a really thin wood, and it is a license, whoops, that's upside down. It is a license for travel um, from the Ministry of Magic. That's really cool. Um, I think this might actually, this could work as a bookmark. If it's not a bookmark, it could definitely work as one. And it's made of like a really thin wood. So that's really cool. I see these, This the Wizarding Trunk has some really cool stuff, really imaginative stuff that you wouldn't really, think you'd get in a subscription box or yeah anyways let's go ahead so we've got all the wiggly worms of course and there are some boxes in here i'm just going to go for this one this kind of a uh, smaller box it looks like it might be a candle in here yes it is a scented candle um it says the pitch scent fresh air flying sweet grass and dandelion and it is by Inflamare Candles. Um, it has the Quidditch rings from the Quidditch pitch on there. So that's, I mean, it's pretty cool. The um, label itself is not really my favorite design, I'll say. It doesn't really look like a Harry Potter-ish design to me, but I like the idea. It's really cool. Um, let's see how it smells. Hmm, that is an interesting scent. It kind of smells like pine, but I get, I'm guessing that might be the sweet grass. Yeah, it does. It definitely smells <laughs> like um, like a, something like maybe what the Quidditch pitch would smell like. I'm sure if uh, you were standing there and it was a little dulled down because it's very strong, but it smells good. So there's that. Let's see what is in the next box. This one's got some weight to it. I wonder what's in here. This one has me intrigued. Let's see. Ooh, it is a potion. So they do some pretty cool potions too. Uh, the last box that I opened, I will say that the potion did spill a little and got on some th some things, but it didn't ruin anything um, except for itself. It got it just like stuck to everything. There was no way to really 
salvage that, but um, this is really cool. Um, and they did a wax seal on it so that it wouldn't leak, which is really cool. And I think what happened before was the heat kind of made the made made it kind of bubble out maybe or like expand. But this is really neat. I like this one a lot actually. It is um, from the Pure Blood Apothecary and it is Dittany, a powerful healing herb used in many healing potions. This herb can be consumed raw but is not nearly as effective as when used in potion making. I really like what's inside the bottle. It's got, you know, a plant in there and some stones at the bottom. It just looks really cool. It looks like something you would find on like a herbology shelf or something, or, you know, a potion making shelf. And there's actually like a thicker liquid in there that's, that's neat. So this, this is great. I really like this potion. So far, this is my favorite thing in the box. We'll continue on and see if that changes. So, let's see, get rid of some of the wigglies. All right, um, is this another mask? They did a mask last time. Um, it looks like a mask, but I don't think it is. Let's see, what is this? Oh, it's like a, a cup thing, like you would put your can in. A koozie, I think is what it's called. So it has like magical books on it and rats and a broken wand. So yeah, not in love with the actual design itself, like the, the pattern. Let's set that one aside and take a look a little bit further. So, ah, a little green bag. I wonder what this could be. Let's open it up and take a look inside. There's a card and there's something else in here too. Here, let's open this up. I'm not quite sure what it is. I haven't read the card yet because I didn't know what that was going to do. Oh, that's neat. This appears to be a stand for a cell phone or a tablet or, you know, whatever you stick it to. This is going to, um, you know, it's going to set it up like this. It's like a little kickstand so that you can have your cell phone just kind of like sitting there um, on the table and propped up. And I might just be completely like spacing it on this, but I'm not quite sure what that design is supposed to be. Um, so let's see what the, what the note says. It says, honestly, how did you two manage to transform her brooch? Okay, it's McGonagall's brooch <laughs> into a holder for a non-magical cellular telephone. Well, you two better figure out how to put it back right before she finds out. And before you ask, no, I am not doing it for you, H. So this is a note from Hermione to Ron and Harry, I assume. And this is uh, supposed to be McGonagall's brooch transformed into a cell phone kickstand slash. You could also use it like to hold your cell phone in your hands like this. Um, so yeah, that's actually really a neat idea. They always come up with like really cool ideas for things. So this is great. I'm gonna set this one back into the little green bag that it comes in and let's continue on. Whoa, okay, this is neat. It says do-it-yourself broomstick servicing kit. So I'm pretty excited to see what's in here because there's definitely some stuff in there. Um, it's not just a bag, let's see. So we've got a small, wow, this is like really cool stuff. We've got a small brown bag, whoops, with a, what is this, a keychain type thing? Yeah, this is a keychain right here. So this is a compass to help you with your broomstick traveling. Um, and then it goes just on a keychain right here. It comes with this little keychain part. There we go. So this little keychain compass is actually really neat. And it's nice and heavy, it's not cheap, it, you can't like bend it, this is really cool. So that goes right in here. Let's see what else is in the servicing kit. Um, do it yourself broomst broomstick servicing kit notes. So here you can like write notes about, come on, focus, there we go. So here you can like write any notes you have about uh, how your like tips for servicing your broom, what you found out, I guess. So that's pretty neat. 
Um, and then also in the bag, we have this high quality broomstick polish. Um, do it yourself, broom care and maintenance. So this is apparently some broomstick polish, but I'm not quite sure what's really in here. Um, so let's find out. It is some kind of polish, it looks like. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna like touch it or anything yet, because I don't know exactly what it's for, but here, yeah, I don't need the bag. <laughs> we, we'll check out the cheat sheet once this is over, but yeah, cool. So we've got like a broom care kit. And next we have, let's see, a pen, of course. Here we have our pen. It's nice and heavy, nice and sturdy. Um, no corners were cut so far on this box, I would say. I mean, you get a lot of stuff. How, how much do we have so far? I'll count them at the end, obviously. We'll see on the cheat sheet. So here's a print underneath. Um, it looks like maybe a chalkboard print. Let's take it out of the plastic so we can see it better. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look. This says Transfiguration Lesson 7. It looks like a, it's, it's supposed to be designed similar to like a chalkboard and it has steps on how to cast a Transfiguration spell. Um, it says Caution, the spell is only to be used on animals. When attempting this on other objects uh, or humans, the results will be subpar. Incantation Translation, I truly exchange. All right, I think there is just one more thing left. And let's see, just to make sure, because last time there was uh, an additional item that I missed in the wiggly worms. And it is not, there's nothing else in there. So this is definitely the last item. And this is my book cover. Um, so they packed it pretty well, wrapped it in plastic just to keep it safe. Um, put it in a really thick, sturdy tube, so that's cool. All right, so this one is like, I'm just gonna let you guys see it. Just make sure it's right side up. I'll let you guys see it just so you can judge for yourselves. Very shiny, very shiny. <laughs> Lots of uh, foiling on this one. So it is the complete guide to transfiguration, switching spells and changing charms. Um, I decided to do uh, foiling on the inside flaps as well, just to give it some more shininess. Uh, I love to do gold foiling on stuff and I love to design like where the foiling will be and how it will look. It's, it's a lot of fun. I also did a lot of like aging on the, if you can see right here on the, um, sp where the spine of the book will be, it's aged. This was a really fun one to design and I think it turned out great. Um, as you can see, the style is a lot different than what you got in the Accio box. So I'm trying to do that with this box. I'm trying to style these book covers a bit different um, so that they're unique to uh, the Wizarding Trunk so that you're not just getting basically uh, different versions of what you got from the Accio box. I don't wanna do that. So that's why I am trying to make these pretty unique. Also, we're using different types of, or different colors of foil. As you can see, the last one was gold foil, and this one is kind of like a copper-colored orange foil. Really cool, really nice look to it. Um, so, let's get this on a book. Um, I forgot to do this in my last video, put, put the actual cover on a book. If you missed the first cover, this is it. It is a Runes of the Ancient World book. So this is the design for that one. So here is uh, book two. We have the Chamber of Secrets here. Um, this is obviously, you can see, a pretty used copy. The spine's a little bent uh, or like off a little bit. It, it keeps like shifting forward on one side, but that's okay. That's okay, that just means it, it's seen some love. So the first thing we are going to do is sort of like uncurl this book cover, because as you can see, it's just gonna keep curling up. So what you can do is take the tube that came with the book cover, and just sort of wrap the book cover around the tube like this, just like the opposite direction that the curl is going. So as you can see, that really did help a lot. So we'll do that one more time from the other side to get this edge less curled. 
and there we go. And now we're gonna put it on the book. So the easiest way to do this is to get the spine here and then we're going to line the spine up. Just try and center the design right here on the spine of the book. And one good way to do that is get these two designs at the top and bottom of, of it uh, centered as best as you can, and then that means the rest of it is pretty good. So once you have that done, pull it kind of tight around the spine and flip it down so that you're just looking at it like this. And then we're going to open one side, fold this one in, and then close it again, just like that. And then keep holding it so that it stays tight around the book, flip it over, and do the same thing on this back side. We're gonna fold this in and close it. And now this should be pretty straight. Take a look at it, make sure that it's not like way off center. Mine's a little bit off center, so I'm going to move it down a little bit. So that's pretty good right here. So now, um, you can, as long as it's straight on there or good enough for, um, for you, you can start just sort of pinching it here, right down the edge of the spine, and then do the same thing on the other side. Sort of pinch it, and this is making a crease in it so that it isn't too like curved. You want it to be squared off just like a book. And now once you have that done, you can kind of crease and pinch and pull on both sides of this to make a crease here and make a crease here as well. And that should do it for the uh, book cover. So here is what the book looks like once the cover is on it. This, this was, I had more fun designing this one than the last one. <laughs> Um, I thought that this was a really cool kind of retro look to the book. If you want to get the rest, you've got to subscribe to them. And honestly, it's totally worth it. Um, let's take a look at the cheat sheet because there was so, ma so much stuff in this box. So it says, Dear Witch or Wizard, Greetings from the Ministry. Enclosed, you will find your license for independent wizarding travel. Given that you have taken and completed the 12-week apparition course, received your certificate of completion and paid all applicable fees, your license has now been issued. So yeah, that license is a license for apparition, which is really cool. So the theme was transfiguration, flying and apparition. Um, we have the transfiguration book cover designed by me from Wizardry Workshop. Um, some people are mispronouncing this and saying wizarding workshop. It is Wizardry Workshop. Reusable coffee sleeve. Okay, so it's a coffee sleeve, not a koozie. Okay, designed by JP Mistlecrow. And then we have the rat goblet pin. So that was a transfiguration pin. A transfigured brooch phone holder. Transfiguration lesson seven print. And that was created by JP Mistlecrow. Independent wizarding travel woodmark. So it was like kind of like a wooden bookmark. A Dittany leaves bottle which was awesome. Um, the pitch candle, a do-it-yourself broomstick servicing kit, which was a pencil case with a broomstick servicing kit notepad, which is uh, number 10 on here. So this has 12 items in here, which is really a lot. A broomstick servicing kit, clip-on compass, and high-quality broomstick polish. This tin was designed in-house and the detox face wash was created for us by Alchemy for the Skin. So that was a face wash. Okay, interesting. So this box is bi-monthly, but still getting 12 items in one box is really cool. You don't see that. And it's, it's not like double the amount of uh, like a normal subscription box like Accio or you know Geek Gear. It's not double the amount really. So, um, it's a really good deal. Really cool stuff in here too. So anyways, let's talk about my favorite items in here. I loved the way the book cover turned out, but it's, it's my own design, so I'm not gonna choose that one. So number one is definitely going to be the uh, Dittany um, bottle, potion bottle, basically. 
This is just really cool. It looks authentic. It looks really neat and it's gonna look great on my potion shelf. I love to put more potions up there. So this one definitely, so this keychain is probably gonna take, uh, it's basically like tied with the pin. I love both of these and the uh, potion bottle itself. Oh, I almost forgot about the, um, the license. Actually, I think this is going to be one of my favorites. So really, I'm gonna say the keychain, this license, and the potion bottle. Those are my three favorite. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite items were in this box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, I get a lot of ideas for these DIYs that I do from your comments. So if you have an idea for something that you want to see me do in the future, definitely leave a comment below and let me know. If you're interested in seeing more DIY videos having to do with Harry Potter and more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Alright, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.